Hello guys, let's take a look at the options how to theme your application in Sensha Architect 4. So I have created some basic application based on the template. I've saved the project and I made sure that the project is previewable, right? I can see the project, everything's looking smoothly. So first option how to theme your application is that you don't theme your you don't you don't theme your application. So what I want to do is to delete this big theme and I will use the themes which are bundled in the framework. So to do so, uh, if you delete all your theme resources, it will be picked automatically. But to do so, select the library and then in the config panel, you can see theme. And here you can select the default themes from the framework. So right now I selected Neptune, I will save it. Let's wait for the for the app Cinch App Watch to build my application and change all the all the variables and things. Yeah, we can see waiting for changes. That means that the build is finished. And when we refresh our application, it's in Neptune. So if you are not planning to do any changes to your team, this is the best way to do so. You don't have any, any additional resources, files or anything and it's clean and doesn't usually break anything. So the second option is to use theming inside Architect. So first we will select uh, our team based on these four default teams. We can select them in the toolbox or in the here in the plus button resources. In the resources, there are usually only the main themes, but all the themes are available in the toolbox. For example, in classic, you will see much more themes. So let's pick, for, for example, Triton. I will drag it to the resources or, or double click it. Yes, I would like upload to upload this theme. Yeah, and we can see that the Triton is applied. And when I want to change something, I will pick the, the theme in the resources. I will now click on the theme panel. And in here I can find all the variables in the theme. I can also, also filter them, but I'm interested mostly in the global global variables. So the most important one is the base color. So let's say I want to my team to be to be a little bit green, right? Okay. Uh, the compiling compiling CSS is done for the for the preview inside Architect. If I want to preview the the, the application, I will save it. Sencha CMD will start creating a an, an theme package for me. Let's let's wait for the for the build to finish. Uh, I can see that right now that it's already green in here, but yeah, waiting for changes. And when we refresh the application in browser, we can see that the theme is green. Let's say I would like to do the other theme, for example, Neptune. I can update this theme and also again I can change the color, say, save the changes and when the build is complete I will see the change theme in the preview. Yeah, the Neptune theme is applied. So these are the these are the basics. There are much many more functions uh, in the in the architect how to team the UIs and other stuff. But these are the basics. The third option is how to team your application is using Sencha Teamer. So let's open Sencha Teamer. Let's say I want to create a new team. Uh, I want my team to be my company team 
I will base it on title, title for example, app or workspace. Right now I can select some empty workspace or I could select the the actual application. It doesn't matter. And in my case I will I will select the, the application so it's so it's faster for the for me to show you. Yeah, the root application select create theme. It doesn't matter if you select the application or if you create it in another folder, you can import it to the architect in with both ways. But right now, when I selected the application directly, it might be easier because I doesn't doesn't have to copy the the, the package or stuff like that. Yeah, and I highly recommend uh, SSD drives for working with EXT applications because there are tons of little files which are really, really hard to work on. So yeah, let's switch to the modern side because we, are, we have modern application. Uh, I am already on modern, right? So right now I want to change, for example, the base color. I will select something. Mm. Something green. Yeah, I can see that the color is green. Oh, let's select some ground. Yeah, okay, I I like this. So right now. Because I selected the, the, the application folder, the theme is already in there. I could click on the, on the apply theme to the application, but it would not work with the architect application because the applications is, is managed by architect. So I have created my team in Teamer and now I have to switch to architect and work there. In Architect, I will click on the plus button in the Project Inspector, click on Resources, Cincha Team Resources, Path to the Team. Right now, I can select the select the team. The team uh, has to be in the in the project folder. Architect will copy it for uh, for you there. If it's not there, or if it's already there, it's it's right. It's okay. Yeah, let's select my project packages local yeah i can see the all themes my company theme select folder okay and i want to upload this theme yeah let's other wait for the compile, so we can see the changes. It's an architect. Perfect. It's our green team. And let's save the project. So this team is applied. Yeah, waiting for changes. Oh, <laughs> it's still going. Yeah, I can, and when I when I select the team, I can see that here is the value set by Teamer. I can also see, see the whole team variables in here when I switch to code when I have selected the team. Yeah, let's first pair with the application. So refresh. Yeah. This is this is my team. Uh, let's say that I doesn't like this color. I want to change something. So I will go 
I can do I, I can do it both in architect or in teamer. Let, let's say first that I want to do it in the teamer. So right now I want to to color to be a little bit uh, let's say blue so we can see the difference. I will select the blue and the color in the team should be changed. Let's check. Yeah, the color is changed. But in Architect, I'm not seeing these changes. I still have the, the green one. So if you do any other changes to the team in Team, you have to click on the team and click on the refresh team. This will load all the all the changes from the team to the architect. So you can see that the color is now correctly blue and the design view will be changed. Yeah, it's blue. Save the application. And in the preview, it's also blue. Now, let's say I want to change something in the team directly in the architect. Yeah, I can do I can do that too. So let's say I want to, to be to be orange. Okay. Change it. Save it. Orange and the preview. It's also orange, and if I look to the teamer, it's also orange. Perfect. So these are the three main options to do teaming in Architect. First is using library, which is no teaming at all. Uh, you can see that now I have selected my team. Second one is just using teaming in architect. And third one is in cooperation with Sencha Teamer. Okay, and that's all for me for now. Thanks.